Hi. Hi. Justin. I'm trying yeah. to find a visible picture for you real quick. Are you on a call? You what? Oh, you're, I thought you were on a call. I'm trying to find a visible picture for you to see what. I don't know if her mom gave you a visible one or not. No. Is that clearer than the new sound she's giving you? A little bit. A little bit. That was a recent one. So. When was that? Like a month ago. So. Um, gosh, what's uh, when did you um, when did you last see uh, Jill? Okay, the last time I saw her. She went, it was after she went to school, she apparently, she rode with her friend Danielle. Apparently, y'all talked to her, her mom said. What, what day was that? Uh, not, t not last night, not the night before that. So, I'm thinking Wednesday. I'm pretty sure Wednesday. Either, yeah, it's Wednesday. Okay, go ahead. And, uh, I'm gonna... and uh, she was riding with her. And uh, I went to her house and she stopped off and we got her. And then, um, like, we always hang out, so, like, we went, they, when she got off, she said her, um, they just, they wouldn't accept her checks, because her mom's mad she didn't sign or something like that. So, um, I took her back, I took her back over there, and, um, back over, over to the, the banking, the bank. Okay. And when we, when we got out, she, she called, and she, um, she wanted to go out with her friends, she always does, but she always comes back when she's done. How did y'all go, how, how are you getting around? Oh, we took the bus, the 333 up there. I'm trying to teach her to take buses because she may need it when she wants to get to school. Where, uh, where's the bank? We went to Washington Mutual. We went to my bank to see if we couldn't work things out right there because that's my bank. So, um, but she said that she needed her mom's information or something. Where's Washington Mutual at? Uh, the one down there um, on William Cannon and uh, not on Brody. You go down Brody and then you change on William Cannon. Uh -huh. and you go down that way. Which way, east or west? East, um, I don't know. I don't know where it is. I think it's east. Well, from the neighborhood, you go so south on or north on Brody to get to William Cannon. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's right. But I mean, she had nothing worked. I don't know why, even why I went. It was fruitless. But she said um, she went with her friends and then she told me she would call me later. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, Wednesday. This was all Wednesday. Pretty sure. Yeah. And about what time? 3.30. 3.30? 3.30, You guys took the bus to... We took the bus to the bank. We didn't, we weren't at the bank for more than like 10 minutes. Okay. I don't even, I don't know. I mean, uh, but before that, you said she was riding around with, with somebody? With Danielle. With Danielle. It, um, she's her neighbor, her best friend. And, uh, she, they were riding in her truck. And she'll, she'll tell you. Okay. Um, what's Danielle's, um... Danielle, I believe is her full name. I'm not sure of her number. Her mom probably has it. I had other numbers that I could have given, I, that I can give you. Okay. Um, they, I'm not sure which ones her mom gave me. I just talked to her mom. Okay, so she was riding with Danielle and um, up until well, about what time? I'm not sure. Um, I'd have to say we left. We left uh, her house at about 4.30. So you hooked up with her at her house? Yeah, she Danielle dropped her off at her house, and we went from there, yeah. But you weren't at the house when she dropped her off, or you were already at the house when she dropped her off? I wasn't there, no. Okay, so when you hooked up with uh, Jennifer, she was already at, Jennifer was already at the house, Danielle was already gone. Yeah, Danielle had already parked. And that was about what time? 4.30, pretty much. I, I have to say that it was close to 3. She was outside, never mind. We walked over to the side. Um, and then you guys, okay, so then you guys went, to, you went and got on the bus, took the bus to the Washington Mutual Bank, am I right? Yeah. Uh, William Cannon. And you were at the bank for not even ten minutes, I'd have to say. We'll round it to ten. Which 
And she got a phone call while she was in there. She was talking for a little bit. Who's that? Uh, Jennifer. And uh, who's she get a call from? I don't know. Uh, apparently, her friends. Um, okay. Oh, sorry. From the bank, you guys went. At... We did. I walked over to KFC to get some, or we walked to KFC. I got some to eat, and she, her friends picked her up. She thought I was weird, but they were, like I said, like I told uh, on the phone, it was Explorer Red, whatever kind of, I don't know what kind of make. I was like, yeah, I'm going to check. She always does this one. She always picks up. So she left with some friends in a Red Explorer. Mm -hmm. Who were, who was who was in the Explorer? Two females and one male. I, I believe I don't know if I knew the guy. I thought I knew the guy. I'm pretty sure I know the guy. Um, he's tall with a backwards hat. Man, he's like oh, he has a beer facial hair. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I met him at school one time, but I don't know because I haven't gone to a school in a long time. But he wasn't anybody I know from her, from her, um, from hanging out with him with her. And I haven't hung out with him before her. And the, the girls, I don't even know. I'm sure she knew him. So you say you think he goes to school? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he, he hangs around and she goes to school. And that would be Bowie? Uh, I don't know if it, if it was Bowie or not. Okay. Okay, so then when did you talk to her again? I haven't since I've been calling her phone, and so has her mom. I'm pretty sure it's dead by now, but or she either turned it off or the dead, or she would have picked up. I called her like about, about 20 minutes ago. Um, okay. And what'd you do that night? I, uh, what did I do? I stayed at a hotel because we're, we're in the process of moving into an apartment. Where'd you stay at? Where did I stay at? Yeah. The Omni Inn or the Omni Hotel. The one south? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm Ben White. Mm hmm. And, uh, and then the night after that, I stayed with my mom. Okay. Who who else stayed in the hotel with you? Just me. And you don't you don't have any idea where she's at? I've been check I checked places that I checked with friends that I know to see if they've seen her around. I don't know any exact locations. I know friends' names, basically, that you could get their numbers and call and see if she stopped by and had one to spend the night, a couple nights. I checked with people, places we hung out at. Her friends, who are that? Who's that? I mean, I, I can give you, okay, there's Sean. Oh, Sean. S-E-A-N. I'm pretty sure that's right. Yeah, uh, Jacob. Um... I already told you, Danielle. Mm -hmm. um, hold on, you gotta let me think about. Huh. Um, reach out to Blue Ben. Might have known. Ben? Yeah. That's something.
Um, oh, Justin. I'm pretty sure. I think you got it right, I don't. She, she that was, it's her ex, she might know, I don't know. She likes to hang out with him still. Okay. That's an X. X since when? Since last year dating, or since last May. She has about a zillion though, so. <laughs> okay. And what when you guys were together just or Wednesday and you were at the bank and trying to get check cash, what else did you guys talk about? Anything? Nothing was wrong. I mean, like we had had an argument like not too long before, but we had resolved that because I mean we we planned on like moving in with a couple of friends and stuff and like having our apartment and like so going from there and stuff. When did you have an argument? Oh, um. I, we had argued over her mom because her mom was giving her a hard time about moving out. Mm -hmm. When was that? Um, I have to say a couple uh, a week or so before that. It wasn't bad though. She just um, we he was off that night. She stayed with me, but like she does that. She has that. She's really really bipolar, so she makes split decisions. Like so, she gets really mad really fast. But um, I, I've I've known her to take off with a friend before, but like she always calls her mom, you know, mm -hmm. or she'll call me eventually afterwards when she's not mad anymore. And it's also she she always takes her stuff with her, like she's a beauty freak, so she sleeps with all her bathroom products mm -hmm. and all that shit's still at her house. So no no indication that she was gonna run off anywhere. Not really. <laughs> I mean, okay. if she even if she was irritated and didn't tell anybody about it, she'd be back by now, you know? Either she, like, I'm thinking either she got, like, like messed up on drugs or something and she's passed out somewhere, or, like, I'm pretty sure she's a capable person and she's not hurt or anything. But I'm afraid that, like, she got into some, she got into some drugs or something. I don't, I don't know, man. Like, I, I wouldn't think she's an any person like that, you know? How she dresses and stuff doesn't really cross over how she is. Right. She's not that person that she isn't responsible enough. No. Right. Um, let me go get something. I'll be right back. You want some water or anything? No, I'm good. Sure? Yeah. Do you remember talking to an officer yesterday? I didn't talk to an officer yesterday, I don't think so. Who talked? Uh, Jennifer's mom. Okay, go for it. Go ahead. Okay. Um, well, yesterday, um, Jennifer's mother reported her missing. Mm -hmm. And there was an officer that went out to the house, and um, he took a report. We, you know, we write reports and everything, and... Um, When he took the report, Jennifer's mother said that she called your mother and that your mother said that she picked you up at the Omni Hotel yesterday morning. Yeah. And so then the officer, by by using the telephone number that Jennifer's mother had, says that he called you. Well, then I wasn't, I didn't pick up or I didn't reach you. I didn't so he spoke to you and that you told him that you and Jennifer had spent the night at the Omni. That you guys had got into an argument and that you left. What? There's no phone. He didn't call me last night, man. This would have been. Let's see if I can tell what time. Hold on. Let me see if I got a received call. What's his number? I don't know. I don't know if they used her number or not. I got a 215. No, that's not him. 
Let's try around. I got a 4840253. Look around 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock. This is 8.32 p.m. No, this is around 2 p.m. 2 to 3. 11.52 p.m. She didn't stay at the Omni Hotel with me. I don't know if you maybe got the wrong hotel, but this wasn't last night anyway. She stayed at the Red Roof with me for a while, mm -hmm. while when she first moved out. Yeah, Jennifer's mother told me that. Yeah, but she didn't stay at the Omni with me. Um. Yeah, I'm not seeing that number at all on here. There is no there's nobody unknown. Maybe that's him. Officer's name is Pierce. It either show up as a number I don't have listed or it would show up as unknown. I'll check my phone or something. Yeah, I was never, I don't know, I was never caught. I don't ever remember me talking to somebody. And the, the, the cooking paraphernalia with the spoons and the cans that were torn and stuff like that, whose was that? That was all mine. But I wasn't using any of them that was used that were open. Okay. So you're there alone, is what you're saying? Yeah. You're... Okay. What, uh, Wednesday night, you called Jennifer's mother and you said you had something to tell her. Uh, I was trying to tell her that, uh, that she had gone off with her friends because she hadn't called me back yet. Okay. And, but she said talk to her the next night. Because she told me she would call me, like, well, she would talk, call me later before. So since she didn't call me, I went and called her mom. <laughs> Plus me, my mom, and her mom, and, and Jennifer were supposed to meet up and talk about the um, co-signing of the apartment. Okay. Yeah. So I was going to call her and ask her about when she was free, so... And, and and again, the last time you talked to Jennifer or it was Wednesday, but that was even talked to her. You didn't even talk to her after that. that no, was... I didn't even talk to her. She wouldn't answer the phone. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm getting lost in my thoughts here. Yeah, you don't know who these friends are. I know. I know a couple of her friends that I've talked to. Uh, she has a list of others that she that on the internet at school that I have never met. Mm -hmm. But I don't even ask questions. <laughs> Last so So you last saw her around four thirty or so or Leaving Washington Mutual. Miss Carrie. Uh, yes, I'm. I'm interviewing a witness right now. Okay. Okay, you last, last saw her around 4.30, leaving Washington Mutual. Um, from there, from there you went? I went to KFC. KFC, but then from KFC, you went straight to the Omni, or? No, um, I went, I went home to my mom's house, and then I went to the Omni.
She told me she was going to her mom's house later, so I didn't really worry. Mm -hmm. She wasn't staying with me that night, so I might as well have gone to the swing. How long were you at your mom's house? Uh, 30 minutes. And you left there about what time? I'm not sure. And how did you get to the Omni? Uh, by taxi. Yellow cab, I believe the number is somewhere on my phone. My phone didn't just die on me. Did it? No. And the yellow cab picked you up at your mom's? Yeah. Where do you live? Where do I live? Yeah. Currently? Right. Where did they pick me up at? So you live with your mom? Yeah. You have a room there and everything? Yeah. Um, we were in the current process of uh, at Ridgeview Apartments. We were we bought a holding. And they, were, they were renovating it for the 28th. Okay. And uh, so we, we had already co-signed that. It's nearby. It's down in the street. And uh, she decided to stay. She, we were staying with her parents until they decided to renovate it. So that, that apartment's not ready? No, not yet. Because they're painting it or something. Somebody's fixing it. Yeah. Make ready. Uh, all right. So then your mom picks you up. Uh, In the morning. Thursday morning. Yeah. I came to her house and I slept. All till about six, and then I left because her mom had called me. Her mom had called me while I was there, and I had talked to her about Jen, and I told her she hadn't called me yet, and she was worried. And I told her probably not to worry about it yet, you know, because she probably just end up calling me. Mm -hmm. But uh, she didn't call me later that night. She hadn't called yet, so I went out and I tried to see if I couldn't find her. Where'd you go? I went downtown to the. I went downtown where I thought she might be hanging out with them, you know, since it was like a. Late at night and stuff. I don't know. What's downtown? What do you mean? Where? Downtown, the drag. She likes to go down there with me a lot. Drag, the um, down the 6th Street, all, kind, all that kinds of stuff. She likes to hang out down there with, like, the tattoo parlors and stuff. But mm -hmm. I, I talked to some kids down there and said they hadn't seen her. Um, I, uh, I walked around down where she lived. See if she hadn't, if she hadn't like wandered home. I, I checked to see, I checked to see if there was any, um, like parties within friends that I wouldn't know about or that I could find out about. You know, to see if she was at one of those. And I didn't have much luck there either. Okay, where'd you stay last night? Um, I didn't sleep last night. What'd you do? I walked around all night. Where at? It was raining. Yeah, it was really cold. Where'd you do that at? All around. I uh, I took a taxi in the bus. When the buses was running, I looked at the bus. When it wasn't running, I took a taxi downtown. Be, sp be specific for me. Just, you know, you were, um, let's say, 10, 10 o'clock, where, where, where were you at last night? Probably uh, Bellanabee. Um, and then, say, 11 o'clock. South first. What were we doing there? What's there? Streets. <laughs> or bus. That's the, where the bus picked me up. South First, like, near what? Near William Cannon. Okay, South First. Uh, say midnight. Uh, midnight, probably walking near the area. Near the area of what? Um... Brody. Brody. Mm -hmm. 
So like what? After that, after for a while, for about three hours, I sat down in front of my house and, and rested. And then um, I just sat down because it was too late to call him to wake him up and let me in. So I just sat outside. I, uh, I left again in the morning. I was supposed to go to school. But um, I went to, instead, I went to Between midnight and three, you're saying you were sitting in front of your house. It was probably more like two to five. <laughs> because the gas station didn't open until 6.30 where I got my breakfast. And then you walked to a gas station? Which one? Um, Shell Station? No, you know when you go to the 7-Eleven down uh, when, or SQ and Brody? Yeah. You know, and you turn that way and there's a, a, sta- a Tiger Station, I think. Yeah, right there one. by the Taco Bell. Yeah. There. Uh, and you got there right at 6 30? 6 30? Pretty sure. And all this time we were trying to call. We were trying to call Jennifer and trying to find her? I've been calling her since God knows. All right, one at 10.15 a.m., one at 9.49 a.m., one What's at, that, yesterday? Uh-huh. Is that yesterday or today? That's today. This, is, this all goes from today. One what, nine. what about yesterday? All right, let me find out. I have one at 6.45 a.m. yesterday. I have one at 9.50 p.m. the day before that. 8.14, I, I, I called, like, I thought she was mad, and usually when I call her a whole bunch of times, she picks up. The 9.50 p.m., what is the date on that? Um, hold on, let me find it again. Uh, two sixteen oh six. Okay. And then yesterday was two. Oh, that's Wednesday night. Thursday. That's Wednesday. I mean Thursday. That yeah, yes, Thursday. Today's Thursday. So I need to go for the today's, day. Today's Friday. Oh okay. I got one another one at eight fourteen that day. I got one at 7.07 that day, 6.54, 11.55 a.m. I had stopped calling for a while because I thought she may have wanted me to stop. 11.55 a.m. yesterday? Yeah. The list goes on, man. (laughs) Okay. Did you leave her any voicemails or anything? No, I never known her to answer my answer voicemails. I don't answer mine either. <laughs> I text messaged her. I didn't think that would do anything else though, but it's like yeah, she called me. So when did you last text message her? Yeah, I got it on here. She last text messaged me at 4.03 p.m. to 15.06. 4.03 p.m.? Mm-hmm. 2.15? 2.15.06, yes. What's it say? It says, no, no, of course not. I was asking her if she could try it. Daniel could try it. If Daniel could what? To could drive us. I don't, I don't even. She didn't explain why.
Your text message to her was what? When the last one that you sent to her? Uh, probably like four. Hold on, let me check. Three fifty nine to fifteen oh six. What's that say? Uh, can Danielle drive us to the bank? Danny is what I call her. So that's the last that other and then after that was when you guys went to the bank so mm -hmm. those text after those text messages is when you did go to the bank right mm -hmm. okay so then other than going to the bank the last you've seen heard or received any messages or phone calls from her is nothing yeah the last mess or the last phone call i actually received i believe was from her mother or mine but no received phone calls from her her. Since you saw her driving away in the Red Explorer. Yeah. From the, uh, from the bank. Let's see, Wednesday. What time did the, cat, the taxi pick you up with at your house? I'm not sure. Ballpark? 9.40, 9 9.30. Okay, one minute. It doesn't quite add up. After about around five, I left the bank. I ate, and then I went to my mom's house. Yeah, you said from the bank or eating or whatever. Same thing to me, because you went you went to KFC from the bank, right? Uh, you went to your mom's house for 30 minutes. Yeah, but I waited for the bus. <laughs> and the bus takes about 30, 45 minutes. Okay. And the taxi also took about 20 or 25 minutes. So when you add the extra couple hours in there, it's around 9.30. Okay, 5, 5 p.m. plus 30 minutes for the bus, 30 minutes for the taxi. Well, there's 30 minutes there, yeah. And 30 minutes you know, hanging 30 out. 30 minutes waiting, 30 minutes. That's 6.30. That's still three hours difference. That's why I was saying, you know, it didn't add up. Um... Hey, Mom. Do you remember what time I left the house last night? Or not the night the before, the night on Wednesday? Do you remember what time I left? Around dinner time? All right, all right, this sounds, this sounds more like it. Seven. Yeah, that's all. Thank you. Go back to sleep. Sleep. Sorry for waking you up. Yeah, she said it was around seven seven twenty. Okay. And when you last when you last saw Jennifer, she was perfectly fine. Everything was okay with her. As far as I know, yeah. I mean, she didn't have her medication with her. That's the only thing I could tell you. It's the only thing your mom would tell you, too. So it worried me a little bit. 
all she had with her was her purse with her cell phone and stuff in her in her wallet. You know what kind of medication she takes? She takes painkillers for her back or for her neck. She just got recently in a car accident with a friend. She has Chiari. So she brain thing brain tumor thing. She has um bipolar medications. I don't know what it's called, Sutera or something. But she has the, the extreme bipolar thing. And um I don't know what else she takes. You have to ask her mom specifics about that. She has a whole little baggie. Um, when was the last time you were in school? I haven't been in school for a couple of days. Uh, Wednesday, pretty sure. I went Wednesday. What, uh, what did, um, what did Jennifer's mother say when, when she talked to you, when she first called you, Alex? Uh, she just said that, um, Jennifer hadn't called her. Or that it was late and Jennifer hadn't called, and that she said that she would need a like it, she wasn't gonna tell, contact her as a missing person if she didn't return that night, and uh, that uh, that if I had any information or if I could help, you know, I could come in and talk. That was basically it. She talks to my mom all the time though. What was Jennifer wearing when you last saw her? Oh crap! Oh man. Uh, blue jeans. Red socks that really don't look good on her, and uh, with her uh, her her black little. I think they look like dance shoes. I don't know. Um, and uh, she was wearing a black top. I'm pretty sure, just like a black top. Um, I don't remember. If she had an over thing on because it wasn't really cold that day. What do you mean by over? Like, I, I don't know if she had anything over that because she usually does like a thermal or something. Or I mean like a, a flannel sometimes or a little jacket, but I don't remember. I know she had a little purse thingy around her. It's like a little blue and green striped bag. She didn't have any of her makeup on. And you guys weren't arguing about anything? No, we were fine. She just wanted to spend some time alone, or spend some time with her friends, or whatever. You know. Call me later. How much was the check she was trying to cash? Uh, oh, this, these checks, I don't know, like a grand or something like that for the vehicle. She was wanting to purchase a vehicle that her, her mom had given her the checks. She said that they, they wouldn't cash them though because the signature didn't match or something. I don't even know. Who wrote the checks? Uh, Jennifer's mom, I believe. Uh, that's what she told me. And they didn't get cash. They did not get cashed. No. Nope. They, they were not cashed. Mm, I don't. Just don't. Unless she found out a way to do it, I guess. You guys didn't just like stick them in your. You, you, you didn't just stick it in your account. In like, my account? Yeah, like deposit it in your account. Mm -hmm. Not cash, not deposit. How much do you have in your account? My probation money, that's about it. Uh, a couple hundred for my probation, that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, get off of it. <laughs> My handwriting's really going to pot. <laughs> Do you know anybody that might want to harm her or anything? Absolutely not. 
Absolutely not. She has. She's friends with everybody. Like she hangs out with crazy people, but like not that crazy that would harm anybody. You know. You wouldn't want to harm her. I wouldn't want to. No, man. Not for any reason. You guys fight? No, we've never touched each other. Like, if we argue, it's all words, and she always calms down and goes and hangs out with some friend. And it never, it's never over. It's never over anything big. It's always little things like our parents and stuff. You sure? Yeah, man. You don't know where she is right now? No, I don't. So, where do you pick the bus up when you catch the bus when you're leaving your house? On uh, Eskimo Cabana. Eskimo Cabana? Mm -hmm. From your house, how do you get to there? Just walk down Cabana? From my house, how do I get to where? How do you I live get... All you gotta do is walk across the Oh my god. Yeah, I gotta do is walk across the street. Oh, it's right across the street. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm not real familiar with the neighborhood. SQ does come in there from somewhere yeah. pretty close. So that's where you pick up the bus. Mm -hmm. And when you ride the bus back, where do you get off? Right across on the other side of the street. So um Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Wednesday you weren't you weren't in that wooded area back there by the retention pond at all? Never. Mm -hmm. Talk about that big ditch, right? Mm -hmm. No. Do you ever go back there? I have. When was the last time you went back there? Um, damn, dude, I don't even know. I went with Richard not too long ago, a couple weeks. What's I mean? I don't know. What's what's not too long ago? A couple weeks ago, we crossed over there to get to the other. Of course, not tons of people crossed over there. To get the other what? To get to the other side. Uh, there's two. There's a, like a fence on the other side. You can cross it to the neighborhood. What's in the neighborhood over there? Houses, other people's houses, the ways. No, I mean for for you. What's over there besides it? I mean, Richard's house, Richard's uh, cousin's house and stuff, and the Jennifer's is over there. Who's Richard's cousin? Um, I'm not sure the names. I can give you his his um his number and stuff. What's that? You want the number? Sure. But you don't know his name. You don't know who whose name that phone that phone belongs to. That's Richard, or like it's his house number. So you may not get Richard, but you can ask for Richard. Okay, so Richard and his cousin live in the same house. No, no, that's why we were going over there to his cousin's. I don't know. He has tons of them, dude. Yeah. Mexican family. <laughs> Your mother said that uh, not too long ago, you and friends. I don't know who. Um, destroyed one of her safes trying to get her gun. No, um, a friend named his number in here too. Um, he, he went, he went, we stayed at my mom's house and he took, he got, he drank and uh, he, he went through everything through all, through all this stuff. He didn't remember it when I talked to him later, but he didn't get anything or take anything. He well, just, he just rammed through everything and my mom's trying to say that to make it sound bad, but. Well, I saw the safe. I mean, that's not just rummaging through things. That's like breaking some in. Time. Yeah, of course, but nothing was taken, so I don't even know why it did it. Well, there was money in there, and well, nothing, nothing, none of that was taken. I was thinking he just did it just as a unconscious thing. You know, that wouldn't be an unconscious thing. That's why she thinks you were looking for the gun. 
she asked me that and I told her I don't think so no like because she there's so much stuff could have been taken the car everything but you've been looking for a gun no I haven't no no so you don't have a gun no I don't when was the last time you did have a gun I've never had a gun in my whole entire life never had a gun no Never had your mom's gun, nothing. No, man. <laughs> Third thing is that on Wednesday, somebody said they saw you walking out of the, the woods and walking through that fence that you just described to me. Man, I wasn't out there, dude. <laughs> Tons of kids hang out down there. I know, but they saw you. Who saw me? Well, I can't really tell you that, Ralph. Well, I mean... Nobody knows me, and, like, I wasn't down there. You sure? Yeah. Okay. So, if I get this officer in here that you talked to on the phone, who talked to you personally, he's probably gonna recognize your voice and still has your phone number. Um, you're gonna tell him that he didn't talk to you? He called me while I was at Omni. I don't still- No, not at Omni, while you were at your mom's house, after you'd been picked up at the Omni. And he didn't call, and what did I say? You said that you and Jennifer stayed at the Omni and that you guys got into an argument and you left. I thought you said he called me at the Omni. No. But um, I, I don't know. I may have talked to him while I was at my parents' house, but I don't remember telling him that she stayed there. Okay, well, you can bring him in. It's fine. And then this person that saw you walking out of the woods? Yeah, I'm almost with this guy or whatever. You ever get the shakes? No. Nope. Mm. Can I see your hands? Can you put them both out like this? Just kind of hold them up. I do have them now. How come? Are you trying to like analyze me or something? Oh, I'm, I'm asking you. No, oh, dude, you're analyzing me. <laughs> I'm not an analyst. Uh, like, I don't know what happened to my girlfriend, dude, so... Did something happen to her? I don't know where she's at, man. Oh, I know, but she chose the word happened. I don't know what happened to her, because she's not calling us, she's not, nothing's happening. You ever done anything really bad? Unauthorized use of a motor vehicle. So, that's really bad? Yeah. You ever done anything really violent? No. Who you call? My mom. Hey, mom. I think I'm gonna be here for a while. Um, have you talked to Elizabeth? what I don't know he has the hotel thingy but I mean I don't think it's anything bad but he said he said that the, the police officer called me while I was at your house did yeah of course I pretty, but I'm thinking there was I was asleep Well, then I, I told him that she was with me and she wasn't. Well, I mean, it's kind of hard. Hey, 
I'll be right back, okay? All right. Um, where are you going? Oh. I know. I need to get to you. Want, you want some water? I'll be right back. I'm sorry, Mom. Is there anything that you know that you're not telling me? Well, this dude's talking to me like she's been killed or something. I'm pretty sure they already they already know and they're not telling me or something. I'm pretty sure they're gonna take me to jail or something. I don't know. for a second. You, are you sure you don't know anything that I don't? Well, he told me that y'all said I, I was looking for a gun and have I ever had a gun and have I ever done anything violent. Well, I know, but you know, I mean, it's not, it wasn't what anything we were doing. All right, well, she call if uh, Elizabeth calls, can you tell me? Okay. 
All right, well, uh, I gotta t I'll call you later. All right, bye. What's going on? Oh, just wanted to have a drink. I left my notepad. Sorry. Hey, can you stand up for a second? Just, can you just stand right there for a second? What do you do? I want to look at you. I want to look at what, what, I want to look, because the person that saw you walking out, describe me everything you're wearing. To a T. Describe me wearing this. Everything. Well, drop the shirt. I don't believe it at all because I wasn't even wearing this. <laughs> really? Well, let me take a picture and I'll show it to him. Just got to hold it a little bit. I'll get the. Flash twice. T uh, turn like turn that way, just to the side a little bit. Let me ask you a question. Flynn said, "Who is that?" It's a um, it's a stain from my spaghetti. From your spaghetti? Yeah. Do you think it's blood or something now? No, I just saw it and I was wondering what it was. Where'd you have spaghetti at? Oh man, I don't remember. Um, spaghetti Warehouse, that place down on 6. It's been a while, these haven't been washed. I usually just throw them on my bed and put them back on. But man, I can... I, He's just going to arrest me and ask me questions later. Can I go home for bed or... You can go home, but I wish you'd sit here and talk to me for a minute. I really don't want to go home. Well, that's, that's your option. I mean, I don't understand. I mean, if you are worried about Jennifer, why do you want to go home? I'll stay here and talk to you, but I already told you everything. And then the more I stay here, the more it's like, hey, you think it's my fault. I think what's your fault? Or that, like, I've done something that I don't know. Well... We called the cab company, and they didn't pick anybody up at your house. And <clears throat> you say you weren't in the woods, and I have somebody who said they saw you walking out of the woods. Um, what else was it? You told the officer that you and... Which cab company did you call? Yellow Cab. The one you told me to? You told the officer that you and Jennifer stayed at the Omni the night of Wednesday night, but that you got an argument and left. And more importantly, you said that the last time you saw her, she was okay. There was nothing wrong with her. She was fine last time I saw her. What is fine to you? Smiling, walking around, whatever. Smiling, walking around, whatever. Okay. Something happened between the two of you guys that... No, man, everything was actually going great, dude. I mean, like, we get in our arguments, but she was actually just finally fixing, finally thinking about moving out with me and friends and stuff, you know? I found her cell phone. And the last text message from you to her is not about somebody taking you to the bank. It's about you asking her, so is this it? I don't remember the exact words. Is this it? Is it over or whatever? No, nah, man, those are from a long time ago. Look. Show me the last one you sent to her on your phone.
Is this the last one? Yeah, I asked if I could send her back to Pop. And she said, no, no, of course not. There's not any more after that? Uh -uh. Can I go home? Yeah, you can go home. I'm not keeping you from going home. I just don't understand if you... If you care about her, why you want to just walk off and... Cause I don't know, man. You probably know everything, and I don't. So, I mean, if you know where her phone's at and stuff, you probably know everything, I don't. You know everything about what? Tell me something. Yeah. Did something bad happen between the two of y'all? No. Are you sure? Yeah. You guys didn't get an argument? No. We any arguments we have, it's always just like, I can't believe your mom did this, you know. How come her mom would tell us that she's afraid for Jennifer when she's with you? Because her mom doesn't like me because I when we were sixteen I used to sneak into her house. I used to sneak in with her and spend the night with her when I was sixteen. So I didn't really start off a good relationship with her. I understand that, but that's different than her feeling like maybe Jennifer's not safe. It's her little girl. But it doesn't have to do with safety. Justin. Has something happened that you need to... No, man. Nothing's happened that I know about, dude. I don't know. I get the impression from you that there's something that you need to tell us. and need... You just haven't done it yet. And my take on that is, if there is, you should probably do that before things get worse. I learned a lesson a long time ago in in my life that when I, when I try to cover up things, it it makes it makes them all that much more worse. Can I go home? Yeah. You want to tell me something? Can I go home? I said yeah. Right now. I said, yeah. Can you walk me home? Yeah. I'd like you to do something for me, though. What's that? Man, what is that? I'd like you to put that jacket in this bag. I got something for you. I'm going to replace it. What? I'm going to replace it. I got something for you, work. You sure? Yeah. I, I don't know, man. <laughs> Guess I'm going to close this brown shirt off. Can you go ahead and put both the brown shirts in there since uh, the person that saw you walking off? So you wearing a brown shirt? Okay. And a thermal? Yeah, go ahead.
What do you need? Just the shorts? Mm hmm. Can you put the shoes in one of these bags for me, please? Do I have the shoes? shoes? Yeah, we'll get you hooked up. Man. Dude, this sucks. <clears throat> Can you put those shorts in this bag for me? You want some long pants? shoes? Yeah, I'll get them. Change? No. I hate change. I hate that. I don't care either. Hey, let me tell you something. Uh, before you go, uh, Jennifer's body's been found. Okay? Is she okay? No, she's not okay. And I want to tell you that. Uh, The green duffel bag has also been found. Okay. Do you own one? No, I don't. Okay. I, I'm just telling you this stuff, okay? You ask, you want to leave. The door's right there to leave. But I'm telling you this if you want to sit here and listen to me or not. What was in the bag? I'm not going to tell you what was in the bag. But you don't own you don't own a green bag, right? No, I don't. Never have? No. Um, yeah. Your mom says you do. My mom? Mm-hmm. We'll get in there and talk to you real quick too. Come here. I'll ever tell you no. Do you mind waiting for me just one second so I'm talking? No, man, come on, hold on a second, man. Trade. You can call your mom. I just want to talk to him for a second. I'm asking if you'll wait once, just long enough for me to talk to him for a second. Yes? Whatever. Yeah, it's fine. Hello? You lied to me. Hello? Mom? Here. You lied to me. What? You told them that I, I know about a duffel bag and stuff. A green duffel bag? Mom, they said I have a green duffel bag and they said they found Jennifer's body. I'm sorry, what? I know. Can you talk to her real quick? She says she didn't say that. 
Yeah, it is. Oh, it's on speaker? Yeah. Oh, okay. Anything on speaker? Go on. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, I'll sit in with you yeah. for a second. No, I need to go home. But you, you're free to go anytime. I am? Yeah. Well, can I go? If you want to. We just thought you might want to clear something up, you know? Do you want him to finish talking to your mom? I'm going to... You have a house phone. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna call you on your house phone. Come on. 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 Sorry. There is no reason. What did you just tell me that I had a green duffel bag for? There is no reason. That was my mistake. Yeah, that was my mistake. What other stuff you've been telling me that no, I, I didn't no, 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 no. I misunderstood what he just was, told me. I was trying to. I misunderstood what he just told me. Okay. Do you understand? That was my mistake. You want me to explain how how I miss made? I came in to ask him to come out to tell him something that had nothing to do with that. He thought I. He was nodding his head at you when you looked at him. My question is, and y'all, you can tell me yes or no or whatever. Just think about it. But there's not going to be any reason. For any of Jennifer's blood to be on your clothes, right? Correct. Okay. Okay. And if we find okay. anything, there, there shouldn't be any reason. Do, do, you, do you understand where she, where we located her and everything? No, y'all never told me that. Okay. I, I direct by the way he's been talking, but the places he's been asking me, it was in the ditch, right? Okay. So have you ever gone back there? I have with friends. We, we spray paint down there. We ride bikes down there. Like, just... But I haven't been down there in a couple of weeks. So if we find something there that proves that I was there, yeah. Like like possibly a bag that he just mentioned. Exactly. That there shouldn't be any kind of forensic or DNA anything that comes back to you at all. Exactly. Are you sure? Yes. And what if we do find that? Then I'll whatever y'all call me back to answer and say I'll. Well, then you you tell me then how did she get back there? You, you place yourself in the area at, this, at the time that she came up missing, correct? Let, let me ask you one more question. I've told you that we found her body, am I right? Yeah. Which means something has happened to her. Are you interested in leaving or are you interested in finding out what happened to her? I'm interested in going and staying with her mom. You're interested in going and staying with her mom. She doesn't want to talk to you. And you don't want to help us try to figure out what happened to her. She don't want to talk to you right now. She She's trying to figure out what happened to her daughter, too. And as far as anybody knows, at this point in time, you're the only one that can help us, and you're and you're walking out of here right now. I have, I'll be at a certain place all the time. If y'all want well, to you know what? It doesn't help us any right now because she's dead, and we got to figure out what happened to her. So every second counts. And but, if you want to walk out of here, then you you, that's your, you can do that. Let's go, Justin. Take one. Let's go on that side. I mean, that's... Are you all right? You want to come sit down? You got any cigarettes or matches or lighters or anything? Is that it? Mm -hmm. I guess you understand that you're you're in custody for what's happened, right? What, probation for you doing me? Oh, no. oh, probation's not what you need to be worrying about right now. Look, let me read your rights to you. Look up and pay attention to me, Justin. You know my rights. Man. I still need to read them to you. Well, go ahead. You have the right to remain silent and not make any statement at all. 
and that any statement you make may be used against you probably will be used against you at your trial. Do you understand that? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Do you understand that? Yeah. Any statement you make may be used as evidence against you in court. Do you understand that? Yeah. You have the right to have a lawyer present to advise you prior to and during any questioning. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Yeah. If you're unable to employ a lawyer, you have the right to have a lawyer appointed to advise you prior to and during any questioning. Do you understand that? Yeah. You have the right to terminate this interview at any time. Do you understand that? Yeah. Justin, sit up and look at me. Okay. Do me a favor, will you sign this card that I just read these rights to you right here? Yeah, I can do that. Read the line above it. You can read, right? It's not a, it's not a smart-ass smart ass question. Will you, will you prove it to me and read that for me, please? I have received an understand warning on the other side of this card. I agree to waive those rights and make a statement. You didn't tell me to read the other side of the card. No, they were read to you. Okay. I don't lie. You said there wasn't even people watching me wherever I went, even if it's like down the block to a friend's house. I didn't lie to you. Yeah, you did. No. No? I didn't know at that time. Let's cut to the chase. Let's talk about what happened. Mm-hmm. What was going on between you and... Uh, Jennifer. Nothing, man. Huh? Nothing, man. Does this look like your bedroom? Mm-hmm. Sit up. Sit up, Justin. Mm-hmm. Tell me what happened. You remember when I walked out of your house after I went and dropped you off? I told you the longer you wait, the less anybody's going to want to hear what you have to say. You remember that? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm not lying to you. I'm telling you the truth. There's two sides to every story. This is your opportunity to give me your side of the story. How come? What did your mother just say to you? On the phone? Yeah. I just told her I loved her. What did she say to you? She was going for a walk. What else did she say to you? That she loved me too. Mm hmm. Don't you think you have an obligation to let some people understand why? I'm like a snake.
But I've been arrested, so that means I can't make any more phone calls. Not right now, you can't. <clears throat> I mean, last time I had the internet, that's all you were doing was making phone calls. Who do you want to call? Who? Your mom, basically. You just want to talk with your mom. No, I don't need to use yours. No, I'll call your mom. She's probably, like, upset. Think you upset her? Don't upset anything. The worst. What do you want me to tell her? Talk to you when I can. Tell her that's on here. Damn, you got everywhere from Cap to Ross now. So is there a reason why I like got pulled over and there were guns everywhere and stuff? I wasn't there. Tell me what happened. I can't, man. I can't, dude. Why? I'd rather rot in jail. Why? Because, man, I can't. I get hurt and there's snitch. I can't mind snitch. How are you going to be snitching on them? Are you trying to say somebody else is responsible for this? Pick your head up, man. That's the least you can do for Jennifer, right? Tell me what happened. You gonna put your mother through this? Is that what you're gonna do? You gonna put your mother through this? Are you gonna tell your mother what happened? Guilt trips don't work, man. Are you gonna tell your mother what happened? Because she's gonna come tell me. What do you mean she's gonna come tell you? She's gonna tell me. If you tell her what happened, she's gonna tell me. Probably. You know why? What? Why? She wants to help. Why else? She wants to help me. Why else? That's not going to help you. If you don't help yourself, nobody's helping you. I don't know. I don't know what you're getting at. Because it's the right thing to do. Do you know the difference between right and wrong? Yes? Yeah. Don't you want to do the right thing? Don't you want to do the right thing? I would say if it's the right thing or not. I'm going to tell you, you this. bring a criminal to justice, right? Yeah. That's I mean, right I thing. mean solve a crime. You can't snitch on yourself. What do you mean you can't snitch on yourself? Yeah, if I'm it, the criminal, I can't snitch on myself? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. We'll see when all that stuff gets back in here. When what, what? We'll see when the clothes and everything get back to you to see if what you say is true. Mm -hmm. Look, 
The evidence that I have, if you're trying to say somebody else is responsible for this, the evidence that I have says you're just as guilty as they are unless you tell me differently. And since I don't have anybody else, that makes you the only guilty one, right? Am I right? What's the evidence you have? That's not for me to tell you. Okay. That's for you to tell me. You have none. Huh? You have none except for somebody that says they think they saw me coming out of the ditch. Oh, they didn't think. They did. Just like I own a green duffel bag. You never touched a green duffel bag? Mm -hmm. Never? It's not mine. You never touched it? It's not mine. I asked if you touched it. I didn't ask if it was yours. I never touched it. You want to get my fingerprints now? I don't have to have fingerprints. I don't know what happened. How old are you? 18. 18? Be a man. Tell me what happened. Enjoy your job, huh? Do you enjoy yours? I don't, I don't work yet. I'm about to. Do you think I would work somewhere I didn't enjoy the job? Sometimes. Most people have to. No, they don't. I mean, who really enjoys being a tax collector? Maybe a tax collector does. The point is not to tell you what happened, man. I'm pretty sure y'all like to hide a lot of stuff y'all already have. I'm pretty sure y'all already know what happened. Or, I mean, and if other people were there and if anything happened, I'm sure y'all already know. You were there, Justin. You know better than we did, than we do, what happened. And I'm trying to see if you're going to go ahead and tell us what happened so that we can explain it to her mother, who has a right to know. We can explain it to your mother, who has a right to know. And anybody else who's affected by this. Affected at all, huh? I said, anybody else? You'd be surprised what you'll feel like if you sit here and tell me what happened. But if you're going to try to put it off on somebody else and that somebody else wasn't involved, that's the wrong thing to do. Do you agree? You're trying to stick with me. Do you agree? Yeah, I agree. What if I ever spit that out? Is there a problem? Yeah, I'm getting tired of looking at you flipping around your lip. Justin, the, the only thing you can do for yourself right now is to explain what happened. Because when you try doing it later, nobody's going to want to believe you. Who believes me now? I believe you now if you tell me the truth.
Have you ever tried telling the truth? I've told the truth a lot. It's not that hard. So she's dead, right? Yes. We've established that. No bringing her back. No bringing her back. You already knew that. You knew that while you were pretending to look for her. Maybe you were pretending to look for her because you were hoping that what happened really didn't happen. It's called denial. You heard of it? You're, you're sitting here wanting me to tell you that I did this and this and this and this is what happened. I'm wanting you to tell me what happened. That's what I'm wanting you to tell me. <clears throat> How do you say your mother's last name? I almost bought that for you. It wouldn't have been worth it. Mm -hmm. 4961555? Yeah. This is Detective Scanlon. Yeah. Hey, I'm uh I'm here at the at the office and I'm talking to Justin. Okay. Um he doesn't want to tell me what happened. I don't I don't know why he doesn't want to, but I didn't know yeah. if maybe you might be able to say something to him to make him understand. Okay. I don't know if you might be able to say something to him and make him understand that you know, it's the truth that counts now. And do I need to, do I need to come down there? Um, you don't need to. Um, I have you on a speakerphone right now, right in front of him. Okay, well, either way, I can come down there. I've already got a wide range for my girls from school in case I wasn't needed. So you, I can either come down there or I can try and talk to him. He called me a few minutes ago saying that you guys had picked him up for further questioning and asked if I was okay, and that was it. That was all we discussed then. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know what else. Right. Okay. I don't, I'm just, I, I, I don't even, I, I don't know what to do. No, I, I have no idea where to go from here. I, right. I can't, I can't believe my son is possibly involved in something like this. I'm just, I'm in shock. I don't know what to say. Well, Well, we have some pretty substantial evidence. I use the I use the term 100% when I was talking to you guys, remember? Yeah. I have no doubt in that evidence. Well, then I don't know why he's not. I don't know why he's not talking to you. I, I don't either. He, he's a, can be a chronic liar. And, you know, I, mean, I, I don't know why he knows you have evidence. He's not to at least tell this side of the story. I mean, you're right. There's more than one side to every story, and um, I don't know why he's not at least trying to speak for himself. It's more evidence of any evidence to speak for him. Right. But do you need me to come down there, or do I need to just stay put? You should probably stay, you should probably stay put. Okay. Um, if I need to talk to you, I guess I'll call back. All right, I'll, I'll be, you can call me on the, on the home phone, man. 
Okay, thank you. Thank you. Let me make another crack on the phone here. I didn't make her crack. Is that one of the things y'all do? No, I didn't make her crack. You're the one that did that. I have no guilt here. So uh, what's the substantial evidence, and I still don't think that's true. You don't think it's true? You don't remember going to Academy yesterday, or Wednesday? I didn't go to Academy. Man. Yeah, you did. I mean, you got videos of I me. I got videos of you. Look, this is what I'm. This is what I'm asking you, and this is what I'm trying to get you to understand. Dude, it's not nothing, dude. You're just popping out little things here and there. I cannot sit here and tell you all the evidence in the case, and then have you tell me I told you the evidence. I mean, that's that's basic stuff. You know two very significant things. And I'm just asking you to tell me the story. What happened? Well, I know. What are the two significant things you need to know? I told you that you were at Academy, and I asked you about the bag. What else was in the bag now? That's for you to tell me. That's how I know if you're telling me the truth or not. Do you ever sit up straight in your in your life? No, I don't, man. Why not? Because I slouch. How come? Or I have anxious, or because I'm ADHD. I don't like to stay still. I'll be playing with something. Well, I don't mind you playing with something. I, I can't sit still either. That's why I'm, I'm also really tired. I haven't slept for a couple days. How come? Sit for you, is that better? Hmm? It's better. <laughs> Tell me what happened. Tell me why it happened. Start by telling me why it happened. Why well, can't it be that hard? Because people thought it was funny. Who? Slap me on a poly or something, dude. Yeah. Because I don't want to. You're going to do it eventually. No, I'm not. Who thought it was funny and why did they think it was funny? What was funny about it? Absolutely nothing's funny about something. No, I mean, why? Why would it be funny? You know, I agree with you. There's nothing funny about it. But why? Why would it be funny? Why would somebody think it would be funny? Well, Who everything's was? funny when you suck me out. Uh huh. But I'm saying, why? Why Jennifer? It's like the sweetest thing in the world, man. Then why did Jennifer? Then why'd you do it? I mean, why did I do it? Why did you do it?
She decides she wanted to hang with somebody else. Um, you sure? She had a brother with me and ex boyfriend. If I cared about that, I wouldn't have ever tried to date her. Then why? And why did I start trying to date her? No, why did you do it? I love Thomas. Why did I do it? Well, you're the one who did it. I just didn't know. Tell me something different. Can I ask you something? Is there is there anybody else in here being questioned? You've never you haven't brought anybody else. You can't ask me. Yeah. Come on, man. Let's don't sit here all day. Let's talk. I got all day, dude. I'm gonna have all day for a couple of days. Let's talk. For years, maybe. Tell me what's going on. Tell me what happened. No, you just want to prove what you already know right. Unless you know, you right. probably know other people. You probably know exactly what happened. You probably know. What happened afterwards, you're just not saying nothing. I want to know the truth is what I want to know. It's not about what I want to hear. It's the truth that I want to know. Tell me what happened. what happened you lie a lot she says I lie a lot I feel like I feel like the Down syndrome where I lie about little things that don't matter Every day. Why you do that? Just to say I lie that day. Why? Like, did you eat that pizza roll? No. Even though it doesn't matter, it just simply doesn't care. Well, that makes people not trust you. No, because she knows I'm lying. She just hey, has a fucking game with me. That makes people not trust you. Because when you are telling the truth and they don't know, they have to assume that maybe you might be lying. You want some water? No. I want a cigarette. You want a cigarette? I do. I'll give you a cigarette in a little bit, okay? I need to step out. Right. You smoke a cigarette? Yeah, please. Come on, Smoker. Yeah, put your hand in front, bro.
me a bigger key, man. Oh, she's she's here talking to us voluntarily, so she's not being held at her against her will or anything like that. She's not in custody. <clears throat> Let's get something accomplished here. Mm. Let's find out what happened. Man, you already know most of what happened. You you already got people here taking pictures and all kinds of stuff, man. Surprise them at downtown jail yet? You don't want to speak for yourself? What's to speak for, man? I'm, Tell me why it More happened. More guilty than innocent, I guess. Tell That's me what, what happened. Saying. Tell me why it happened. Tell me why what happened. What, what am I supposed to say? She was a bad person or something, and somebody wanted to do something to her. I don't know what you mean. I don't know what you mean. Tell tell you why it happened. Why did you do it? You need to stop referring to it as why did I do it, man. Well, tell me something different. Justin, sit up and look me in the eye. Tell me something different. You saw the Academy videos, right? Yeah. Who was in the videos? You and some other people. Uh, have you identified the other people? We will. Might be Richard. Look, man, sometimes things happen. Sometimes they just happen. Sometimes we set things into motion and we don't feel like we can necessarily stop it and we just keep on going with it. And before we know it, we went too far. Things were going so good they didn't need to stop. Okay. So there was nothing wrong at all. Wrong place, wrong time. So this this other guy that she had been hanging with, that didn't bother you at all, right? No. No? You didn't mind sharing? It wasn't really a sharing thing. I didn't really, I wasn't dating her, so there's no no claim like, yeah, we had a relationship before. But, you know. but you didn't want that to be over. You're playing this as a like um, a jealous boyfriend slash something, right? Is that the kind of gig you're going at? What's your probation officer's name? Colleen Lumbacher? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Look, I really, I am really most interested in being able to go to Jennifer's mother and just explain to her why, why this happened. 
She's going to want to know and she's going to need to know why and how. And I think she deserves that. That's her daughter. Wouldn't you agree with that? <clears throat> Would you agree with that? No. Oh, you don't think she has a right to know? She just look at it like somebody took her daughter out like 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 a bag of trash and that's it. Left her in a little wooded area to, for what, who knows what. No dignity there, huh? She looked dignified when you left her. Hmm? I don't know, man. Yeah, you do. <clears throat> Justin, help her mother out. You don't think she has enough to deal with as it is? Don't worry about her mother, man. You're not? You don't care about her mother? I care about Jennifer. I don't care about anybody else. You don't care about a mother? I'm trying to get me to, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure, I'm almost sure that y'all already know, like, everything that happened. Y'all have already done checks on everybody, and y'all know what happened. Y'all just aren't telling me. I'm pretty sure, man. Pretty sure she already knows. No, she doesn't know. She needs to know from you what happened. Am I supposed to go over there and tell her? No, I'll tell her for you. Couldn't even look her in the eye, could you? Who? Jennifer. I love your I love your little little thing you're doing, man. Well, I'm telling the truth. That's why you love it. I guess. Whatever. You're not going to be a man about this. You're going to stand up and take responsibility for what you're responsible for. I mean, being a man is snitching, man. I'll take responsibility for everything I do. Snitching? I suppose snitching's worse than murder, right? Is that right? If you had to choose between snitching and murder, you choose murder? On myself, yeah. No. You wouldn't be snitching anybody off anyways. There's no way to snitch off. Be responsible for yourself. Be responsible for the things you did.
can do. You know what? <clears throat> you're gonna sit there and act like you're gonna take it, and I'll uh, I'll do I'll do my time, and I'm not snitching anybody out. I'll tell you right now, you'd be the first person that ever sat in one of these chairs and did that. Because nobody sits in one of these chairs and takes the blame for something they didn't do. So you're confirming for me that you're the one that did it. You understand that? It's a good go at it, yeah. That's that's the way it is. Nobody ever sits in that chair and takes somebody else's blame. up to what's yours and be a man about it. It's not going to go away. It'll only get worse. It'll only get worse if you don't do something to help yourself out. You don't think a judge or, or a jury might watch this and say, uh, it says here in, in, in the detective's report that um, you know, Justin he just didn't want to. He just didn't want to admit to what he did, and um, he tried to say somebody else did it. There's no remorse. He has no feelings. Were you mad at her about that guy? Mm -mm. You sure? Mm -hmm. What's your probation officer talking about? I'm not sure. Um, What's Cynthia talking about? I'm sure Cynthia didn't say anything. I'm sure y'all told her something, and I'm sure mm -hmm. Colleen didn't say something. No. Or Cynthia said, "I can go get the name of the guy. You want to go get the name of the guy?" Yeah. So we'll see. If, we'll see if Cynthia has a name. I'll be right back. Chris. Chris. Me and Chris met in sophomore year. We were friends for about two years. They worked together, and I believe they dated for a couple of months. Big deal. Well, who's gonna Who's gonna kill somebody over a guy that somebody dated for a couple of months? I mean, I'm too laid back for that. Hmm. So why would you kill somebody? I wouldn't. But you did. <clears throat> so you're going to say what you're saying now and in the event that there's a, a trial you're going to go in court and you're going to say something else 
you're going to try to say something that's the truth, right? And you're going to say, well, this is the truth. And what I was telling that detective back then, um, well, that's not, that's not the truth. There's no truth without saying things. Imagine being a whole bunch of angry friends all kinds of stuff. I wouldn't know what happened. Really? You know what happened. <clears throat> Remember when I asked you if any of her blood would be on your clothes? Yeah. Pretty confident that it's not going to be there, right? Yeah. Sure about that? Mm hmm. We're going to find out. Okay. And when I get Richard and the rest of them, and I find out everything that they've said, and you're the odd man out, You don't think? Watch me. I'm not going to waste my time with you too much longer. I, I'm actually sitting here right in front of you right now for your own benefit. My motivation isn't for you, but it's for your benefit. I want to tell Jennifer's mother what happened. You don't give a shit about her, though. That's obvious. Put your mother in her shoes. Don't you think your mother would want to know what happened? Doesn't a mother deserve to know why? Just, does a mother deserve to know why? Yeah, man, you know what? Here, I'll tell you. Can I can I call my mom first? Or can you call my mom first? And then... Uh, no, no, no. Tell me to call the house. Oh, okay, go ahead then. <clears throat> hey, Mom. Hi. I wanted to say I love you and I'll try to call you later, okay? I just want to... Do what? Um, I'm not sure, um, but they have a they have a pretty uh, a good case on a whole bunch of things. So I'm gonna try to tell them what happened. Perfect. Okay, you I don't know. That's up to him. Well, we will be booking him in. Yes, ma'am. Is there anything what? Um, not right now, I can't. When I finish up here, I'll, I'll give you a call and tell you what I can. All right. All right, Mom, I love you. All right, bye. All right, so... Um, Richard... Purchased a, a shotgun. I don't know if I saw it off shotgun, but he, but he had. 
My ears are clogged up from the allergies. Can you talk just a little bit louder? You want them to hear? I'm pretty sure that's what it is, right? It's my ears. It really is. Can you hear this this fan, whatever? Can you hear the fan? Between well, that and the, apparently, my Apparently, like, they saw me call my mom, so you just want me to speak Well, yeah, you, yeah, no, they saw you call your mom. It's me that can't hear. Well, I mean, okay, I don't need to speak much louder, I guess. I mean, okay, go ahead. Um, he purchased a shotgun. Duffel bag is his. Everything is his. Um, purchased uh, whatever kind of whatever they buy. I don't know. In the woods. Who who fucked up in the woods? It got fucked up in the woods. It got fucked up in the woods. We got fucked oh, up. Oh, you in the got woods. fucked up in the woods. Who's we? Uh me, Jennifer and Richard. Okay. She got shot, we panicked and we ran. How did she get shot? I don't fucking know, dude. I didn't even look. What do you mean? I didn't look. No, I mean, how did it, how was it that, that that she was shot? How did the shot get? The animal f***ing around. I'm listening. I mean, that's it. I mean, you're going to get Richard to come in and he doesn't say... What do you mean you and him were fucking around, though, is what I'm saying. Specifically, how was it that the gun was fired and she ended up getting hit? I don't know what he said. Well, describe what you mean by you were fucking around. Where, um, he had me explain, like, how he got there, like, holding the, uh, trying to grab the thing from each other while it was like moving around oh, uh-huh. you know what I'm saying what was she doing walking okay who was trying to grab grab what from who we weren't like struggling we were like playing around we didn't know what we were doing okay so you're saying well, who who had who had the gun in their hand both of us. You'll find fingerprints on it from both of us. Justin, whose finger was on the trigger? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. You'll finally find that out with all your laboratory stuff. I don't know how it's fucked up. Who was carrying it before you guys started? Richard, man. Richard was the one that purchased it. Where did he purchase it at? I don't know. That's the that's the whole little Mexican thing, man. Dude, I don't know where it came from. That's a Mexican thing. Uh, I guess. I, mean, <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. I'm not racist or anything. That's just what they call it. I mean, whenever I ask them, they say it's a Mexican thing. Okay, look, stand up and show me what you're talking about when you say you guys were fucking around and pulling on the gun. Fucking around. Okay, but you're walking or or no, what? No, we're standing there, man. He's right here. We're right here. You know who's holding? Who's holding? Who's holding the shotgun? I have my hands right here, right here, and he has his hands like here and right here. You know. Let me go get something. I'll be right back. Okay. It's not he's gonna, all going to work, man. It'll be close. He'll be Jennifer. You be you, and I'll be Richard. Show me where Jennifer was. Turn around. Um, you try to keep turning like you're facing the corner right there. You want to move that chair and walk up a little bit. Walk up this way? Yeah. Okay.
like that. And what are you guys doing? Like this. You know, like laughing. Uh, okay, but you said she was walking. She was, she was like, yeah, she was walking, standing still, walking, like waiting for us to stop being dumbasses. You know, like she'd stop and talk for a second and keep walking. And uh, we were a good distance away at one point. How far away was she when the shot was fired? I don't remember. Um, I'd have to say... A lot farther than that. You can turn around now. Yeah. Here, we'll step back. I want to. I want to just kind of visualize it. Um, wanna, you don't have to face the wall. Going to Frank's and stuff here. Like, I have to say, a little bit farther than this room. A little bit further than this room. Like if you turned around, yeah. And you guys were struggling with it, like right here. Yeah, probably a little bit further back. I have. To, yeah, probably a little bit further back now. Okay. You could probably determine with the with the bullet and stuff. You could. <laughs> How come this didn't work? Because it didn't have the stock on the end? What do you mean, what didn't work? When you said this wasn't going to work. Well, like, it looks different, I think. Like, the top is longer, so you're, you're, it's a lot shorter. Right. So I can't really, like, place our hands properly, but whatever, man, it doesn't. Did it have a handle like this, or no. it had the stock on it? Yeah. Thanks. Anyway, I had told Jennifer that I I was wanting to purchase a handgun from this guy so that we could keep it in the apartment with our friends um, for protection or whatever, you know. And uh, brought, he, he, he bought this dumb thing. I don't know what it was. And I told him to keep it, take it back to his house or we're going to take it back to his house because you can't really carry a sawed-off shotgun in an apartment, you know. It's not you can't conceal it under your bed or anything if you get robbed. But um, he did he did his own thing, so that that was that. And then um, I took off. I took off and he took off. Um, I called him later. Um, while I was at the hotel, she probably said something dumb, but I don't know. Did you try to help her? I don't know if you want to all cowardly, but I kind of just like knew, you know. What did you guys say to each other? <clears throat> I don't remember. Mm. Which way did you go? Uh, he went, uh, you know, here's the woods, right? See what I'm saying? Okay. Here, here's the ditch. Okay. In front. There's a, there's a path through here, there's a path through here. The path here goes out, goes that way. The path through here goes to the ditch, it goes out that way. There's a path right here that goes up to the gate. I went that way, he went that way. So you kind of went opposite directions? Of course. Not straight opposite, but not the same direction. Well, we ran down the same path the whole morning. They were kind of said, fuck him, fuck you, whatever. Uh, did you find the gun? Mm -hmm. Well then, then I don't know why you asked. Well, because I want to know if you were if you were telling the truth. I told you I can't sit here and give you evidence, mm -hmm. right? Yes. <clears throat> Who loaded the ammunition into the shotgun? You know, kind of stuff by at Academy, you know, that or. I think it was one of those old time ones, so it really wasn't that hard anyway. He took a big step, and I appreciate it. Well, 
well, not everything that you said, or not what you just said, or what you said doesn't add up completely, though. What do you mean it doesn't add up completely? It just, it doesn't match what we found completely. Like at the site? Yeah, like, are you sure you guys didn't struggle over that weapon after the shot was fired and not before the shot was fired? I, I can't really explain it to you because I don't remember because you, you don't really, you, um, like, you can, you don't see the shot. Like, since we're moving the gun, dude, it's not like you shoot it and it goes bang and it, your gun moves. It's just like you shoot it and you hear it. Right. But since we're doing some other thing and we're out of it, we didn't really hear it. He said shots. No, I meant shot. Well, how many times did y'all fire that gun, though? It's only a one shot, I think. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if he knows how to do it more than one, but I'm pretty sure he has to shoot one and reload another one, like take that one out and put another one in. So she was shot only one time? I sure was. I hope so, yeah. I'm pretty sure. But before she was shot or after she was shot, you guys did not shoot that shotgun ever? Not that I know of, man. Or if it did, no, I'm not sure. I wasn't. I didn't shoot it before that time, no. Why didn't you stay and try to help her? Who would believe me, man? My fingerprints are there. I'm on probation. She's my girlfriend. Could have just straight took off. Could have what? Could have just taken off, never come back. I caught calling her when I was like deranged out of it, trying to see if she'd still like if she answered the phone. Like, see, I, cause I didn't actually see the shot connect, dude. I didn't. Maybe I was thinking maybe she just dropped, like, out of the way or something. Like, did she heard fly by or something? Oh. Oh. Mm. When you guys left, who who had the shotgun when you left? I don't know. It wasn't found with the bag and stuff. Well, that's what I'm asking. Oh, God, I don't remember, dude. I'm already going to jail. It's a rough as way. Pretty sure I had it. What did she do? What did who do? Jennifer. You mean? What did she do that, that made this happen? Nothing, man. <laughs> well, in retrospect, probably nothing, right? But at the moment, what did she do that made this happen? Absolutely nothing. Wrong place, wrong time for all of us, dude. Yeah. I mean... We didn't really plan on anything. We planned on going to to uh, Richard's house later to purchase a, a car for her for from his father. Uh, like he he gets cars, a Mazda six two six or something like that. It was what he was getting, and we were going to go get one for her, so she could get to school and back, and still meet me at the uh, the apartment we were going to move into. What do you think Richard told us? I don't know. I think he told you that he didn't have anything to do with it, that he was 
that home. Why would he tell us that? Because he doesn't want to go down. That's what I'm saying. What if there's somebody that corroborates his account and puts him at home? At uh, what time? I mean, anybody can put you at home at certain times. What time do you think this happened? Right after he jumped Danielle, or right after uh, Danielle dropped her off at her house. Damn, early, dude. I don't know. I'm not sure. <clears throat> well, I, pr I appreciate you telling me what you told me. I, Whatever, you know you don't. Do you? I do, because I do have something that I can go to her mother with. However, I do want to say that I think you're kind of glossing it over a little bit. I don't think you're being 100% truthful. I think that's why you know what you think Richard told us. And I don't know if you know how a shotgun works when those pellets leave that barrel, they change. And we have a firearms expert that works here at the police department. He's going to test the weapon. He's going to test the results of the pellets, what they do after they leave the, the barrel. And I don't think it's going to match. Well, I'm pretty certain it's not going to match up with the uh, what you just described. What do you mean by that? What do pellets do? They spread out. That's why there's a whole bunch of them in there. So what do they have to do with me and him with the gun? It has to do with the wound that's on Jennifer. We've come a long way. And we should we should get it all out. Yeah, I don't know about placing alibis, but people see him see us have seen him walking with us and stuff. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. Who saw you in the woods with Richard? All I can say, I mean, I seen, I could have to say neighbors have seen it if you want. That's all the people who had seen us, us two with, with the guy, with him at nighttime. Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday, Same Sunday, day, when? All, like all week, because we were talking to his father about buying his car. Okay, but this happened on, um, this happened on, uh, On Wednesday? 
Fisher. Yeah. Who saw you in the woods with him on Wednesday? Or the ditch, however you refer to Well, this, this dude that saw me come out, did he see us all go in? That's good help, good lot, that is, man. Okay, how about this? Who knew the three of you were going to go over there? He told his dad he was going to 7-Eleven. Richard told his father, because he didn't want his father to know what we were doing. Um, I don't know if she told Danielle, but Danielle saw us earlier, like she was, I don't know if she told her that she was going to buy the car or not. It's just an if, if she if she did, you can ask her. But she did, she, she probably told her from where, I don't know if she said names. Um, her father, or his father, seen us three walk in. At what time? All times of the day. <clears throat> but I thought she was with Danielle all times of the day. <clears throat> she went to school with Danielle. Mm -hmm. After that, it's God knows what. Did she go to the bank with you or with Danielle? Danielle. Because you were at the bank. Well, I mean, I was at, I was at, I wasn't, when they went to the bank, I was walking down Eskew. I was walking towards the bus to go to the bank myself. And they stopped and they told me where they were going and stuff. They give you a ride? No. How come? She wanted some, uh, I don't know, man. I didn't really ask. I didn't want one. Danielle usually isn't allowed to have other, other people that she doesn't know in the car. Sometimes I go with her. I've gone with Danielle before to get movies and stuff. Why would you take a shotgun into the woods? Um, I guess just put it there, put it away. Why? Why? I mean, he didn't want anybody to see it. I mean, because he had purchased it, he didn't want anybody to know whose it was. We both had our hands on it, looking at it. You didn't want anybody to see it, so you put it in the woods. You didn't think somebody would find it out there? No, nah, man. I mean, he like he hid it way back there. Like nobody. I don't know. Any, I don't even know if I don't even know if anybody goes out there. Cause when I go down there, I used to just skateboard down at the actual ditch where the ditch the semen is at, or on the other side where the semen's at. You know, nobody goes into the woods. I don't know if you're asking was it planned or not, but it wasn't. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that's what you mean by the, your question. Is if why we if we put it there specifically for the purpose or something? Well, she didn't know you had it, did she? Oh, she knew we had it.
He said it was his father's. And since we were going over there anyway, we were going to take it with us, give it to him, because that's the one. Anyway, I told him about the one that we were going to purchase for the apartment, that it wouldn't work, because I wanted a little tiny one like that to put under a pillow or something. But you're not allowed to, you're not allowed to have a gun. I know. I wouldn't plan on using it just for safety. But you're not even allowed to possess one because of your probation. Exactly. I know. Hmm. It wasn't planned to be possessed for a while. I, he just came In your house is possession. I could eventually put it under her name. That would have been okay. Not if you're living together. So you're saying it's his gun, he loaded it. And we both played with it, but it says he bought it. It's not what I wanted, so I didn't want it. But you didn't load it. No, I didn't load it. You, you never touched the ammunition? No, I, I touched it. I looked at it at the, in the academy. I didn't know what the hell it was. I didn't know what was in it, how big it was, whatever. He knew that stuff. I was just being curious. With if you're asking if I touched him and I ever looked, or I ever looked at one. Are you sure that's how it happened? You asked me to tell you, man. Yeah, I did. Can you tell me where on her body she was hit? No. I can't. I didn't look. Oh, I think you did. I didn't. And no matter how many times you say, oh, I think you did, I didn't. Well, I don't think you had a choice. I heard the gun go off and... Saw her drop. I didn't see any blood anywhere move. I didn't see any hair missing. I didn't see any part of her shirt bloody. I didn't see anything. She looked fine except for the fact that she fell. And I, I don't know if it's just because I was slow reacting and looking or, or what, but there was no blood anywhere. Well, then you should have check to see if she was okay. Unless you knew for certain she wasn't. Which I think you did know. I think you knew for certain she wasn't okay. I'm pretty think you, sure she wasn't okay. I think you knew for certain she wasn't okay because nobody would have been okay after what happened, right? Pretty sure. Hmm? Pretty sure, man. If one of those bullets had connected, I mean, those are big bullets. What else you need on there? Well, like I said, you took a big step in. Well, let's continue by what, what else do you need to know? The whole truth. Without the little changed parts. Well, I'm telling you what I remember. Whether he says he was with this or not, you know, you're going to have to look more into that. But it was kind of like, we're there, but we weren't there. 
Well, I can't believe you ran off and just left her. You can't believe panic or you can't believe what? No, not if it's my girlfriend. Not unless I wanted to leave her there. Not unless I did something specific to make sure she stayed there. If I intended for that to happen. I'm sure she did something, but you haven't told me yet. And you're telling me we could She didn't do anything, man. Help me understand. <laughs> it wasn't on purpose, dude. I don't know what, how many times I gotta tell you that it wasn't on purpose. So you're gonna stand by that? Yeah. <laughs> Remember what I said about the truth later and not the truth now? And yeah, man, I heard you. I know about that. Remember what I said earlier about the little white lies when your mom says you tell these little, little white lies? These are white lies that I don't lie about. Or, I mean, these are white lies that like, they're not important. What I tell you why? Why? What I tell you what it means. What does it mean? It means people learn not to trust you. Well, that's your decision. Well, it won't be my decision whether or not you're guilty or innocent in a, in a trial. Those are the people who's, who make the decision. Those are the people that you're going to want to believe you or not believe you. I panicked and I ran, dude. You didn't expect that out of anybody. I mean, like, I didn't know her well enough to want to stay by her side and I thought I would get in trouble. So, whether or not you got in trouble was more important than whether or not she survived that. Well, I was also, you have to stay, you have to figure out that I wasn't in the, the proper state of mind. I, I panicked. Probably I told you that didn't fly. That didn't fly. Okay, well then, it, it has no, then I have no reason to be talking to you because you've never done it. You don't know how I'm fit, how I felt at the time. You have no idea. Well, am I supposed to sympathize with you? No, you don't have to sympathize. It's not something to sympathize over. It's just you have to understand how I was, what I was, how I was thinking. I, I don't have to understand how you were thinking. You shot somebody and you left them there to die. You telling me I have to understand that? Hey, your girlfriend of all people. I think you got really pissed about something. And what happened to Jennifer is exactly what you intended to happen to her. But once it happened, you realized it shouldn't have happened. And that you really should have never intended for that to happen. And I believe that because you're, you're not sitting there saying, well, I'm glad she's gone. You know, I'm glad she's dead. I still think you made a choice to do that. and I'm sticking to the fact that it wasn't planned and it wasn't on purpose. Okay. I'm going to get my computer and type up your statement. We'll print it out. You can read over it and we'll sign it. We'll be done, okay? Um, can you call my mom one more time, please? Just for my fact. I'm, never gonna, I'm probably not going to be able to talk to her for a while.
What are you going to tell her? I don't know. You don't want me to tell her anything about anything, right? Just tell her goodbye and goodnight, right? Pretty much. I don't want you telling her any details. Hey, Mom. Hi. Um, they're going to go ahead and uh, type up the statement and stuff. Okay. And uh, probably they're going to book me in and probably have me talk to them and stuff. Well, I don't know, man. He's gonna have to talk to you about it, mom, because I really don't want to do it. But it wasn't on a. Wasn't on what? Now we see it now. Um. It was sort of my fault, not my fault. Yeah, that's the best way to put it. Like, there was other people there and stuff, but, like, I knew what was going on. And I was all a part of it as much as they were. But it wasn't on purpose. So you're saying it was an accident that you could have stopped? Pretty much. Being dumbasses. Yeah. Oh, uh, I, hey, Mom, I got to go. Okay. I'll talk to you about it later if I can get a phone call, okay? Is that okay? Yeah. All right, Mom. Love you. You know what would be the coolest thing, man? If, like, before we went downtown or we went to the courthouse, you could let me have another cigarette on the way. I will. Awesome. Drink some I'm that not going to have one for a long time. Drink some of that water. Do you know your driver's license and social security numbers and all those? I don't know it off the top of my head. No. You don't? No. You don't have my wallet? No, I do. I'm not sure which I took out of it. I have my birth certificate for you. I have my driver's license for you. Or my license. Or my social for you. Okay. Is that good enough? Yeah. I'll say a few things to just fill in the blanks. I've known Jennifer for approximately three years. Three years. We first dated about how many years ago? Two. Um, and then your dating relationship was just off and on, or did you date for this? Have you been dating for two years? No, it was off and on, really. Or actually once. I wasn't even, like, we dated for a couple months, and then our mom said no more, so we said no. We, we, we just quit interested in other people. We were just really good friends since then. Okay, we dated until... About summertime. So. About summer, what, 2001? Was some soft soft ass. Well, two years ago, so two thousand four. Her mother. No, no, don't write that, man. It was more like 
right, there are differences anyway, like if it were on compatible. Mm -hmm. So since that time, you've just been really good friends. There's been nothing romantic or sexual or... We've had sex, yeah, every once in a while. But I mean, it's not like a close relationship. We have sex with other people. That's why I didn't get the whole, am I jealous of somebody thing. And recently, recently your relationship has been good friends. Still good friends. Wednesday, uh, February 15th, I first saw Jennifer around what time? February 15th, that Wednesday? Yeah. Uh, first, what time did I first see her? Around four when Danielle. Okay, she first saw around four when she was with Danielle. Where? Um, down her street, uh, Coastal. Or no, Cortina. I'm sorry. She was on Cortina. Yeah. This isn't when you were walking on Espy. No, I was walking down Espy towards her house, and uh, later on she drove towards the bank, and I saw her. They didn't see me. Okay, when so they you saw me, when they stopped and talked to me, it was on uh, Cortina. They did hi, a little giggly thing, and then drove off. Before that, you did you did what? Went to school. And hung out with Richard. What's Richard's last name? I don't know. I gave you his phone number. What's his phone number? He took my phone. Oh, it's in your phone? You hung out with Richard and we went to... He went and got the gun. I don't know where he went. And uh, we went to a cabin. What do you mean you don't know where he went? You weren't with him when you went and got the gun? He got the gun on that day. Where were you when he went and got the gun? I wasn't there. I was uh, 
Mm-hmm. And he got me at the store eating something. <laughs> I think it was, uh, I went to Sonic sometime in there, and he just went off and told me he'd be back. He's like, yeah, I'm back. Okay, so you went to Academy. With Richard and his friend, whatever, his cousin, whatever. What's his cousin's name? And whose friend? Richard's friend or his cousin's friend? I think this is Richard's girlfriend's or sister's boyfriend. That was him. But not Richard's cousin. I think the other kid in there was. You saw, did you see three people or just two on the video? There was three people in the car. I don't know if one of them hung out with it. That's fine. That, that's fine. I'm trying to, I'm trying to uh, keep straight who was there. You, Richard, Richard's cousin and Richard's sister's boyfriend. That was that? Richard's sister's boyfriend, I'm pretty sure. Okay. What time was it you went to the academy? Which one, the one at Brody in 290? And when you're at their academy store, Richard bought bullets and uh, other stuff. I don't know what else he bought. Bullets for what? The gun. What kind of gun? Uh, I don't know. I, I think it's a shotgun. I don't know any specifics. Well, you said that before. That's why I'm asking you. Oh, okay. Well. Okay, what else? He bought bullets for a shotgun. He bought a duffel bag. I don't know what, what color? kind. It was black. It's a different thing. And he put, he gave me. He came to me. Okay, what else? Uh, he bought a backpack. Uh, I don't know. I think that's it. I don't know what else he bought. If there's anything else he bought, I didn't see it. Where do you get the money for this? Me. Why'd you buy all this stuff for? I didn't. I gave it to him specifically for like a small handgun that I could hide in my apartment. And that's what he told me to do and I told him to meet me somewhere and he ended up dragging me everywhere with this big old gun. When did you give him money for the to buy a small handgun? You know, I think it was a couple of days before. And I had been hanging around anyway because I was supposed to buy a car from his father for Jennifer. Okay, I'm sorry. Let me clear this up then. So you gave me money a couple days beforehand for a small handgun for the apartment. And was it on Wednesday that he actually went and bought a gun? Pretty sure, yeah. And yeah. you were at the Sonic. Did you know that he was going at that time specifically to buy a gun? 
he had told me, yeah. Okay. I didn't know if that's what he was going to do. But yeah, he told me that's what he had planned on doing. And the Sonic is on Brody? Where's the Sonic at? It's all on Brody. You can hit me there and I can hit the alarm. Went to 7 Eleven a whole bunch. Just bought a cigarette. We bought alcohol and I'm rage. So you, you were at the Sonic, he left, and then where'd you hook up again with him? Before you went to the academy. We stopped at a, we walked to a ditch. Um, uh, a little skate ditch, and he put the, he showed me the gun, and he put it down, and he said that we were going to go to his house, and we was, he was going to get a ride from his sister's boyfriend to academy. Okay, which, which, which little skate ditch? Where was this one at? It's on um, coastal and something. Coastal and something. There's a little, there's a little dish that you can kids go and skate. And uh, I put it down there. I can point it out to y'all. I mean, picture or something. I mean, yeah. I'm trying to like tell a story. So did you guys meet there, or did he come back to the Sonic and then you guys I walked? I think over? he drove. He somebody drove him over there, but I met him there. Okay. And uh, he, he, he had. Describe the, the shotgun. Uh, wasn't where I wanted. I told him that. <laughs> I don't know, man. I didn't really like. He had wrapped it up. Um, I always when he showed it to me at the ditch, it was uh about that long. Saw it off. Yeah, I guess that's what they call it. it didn't look like the right. The, the top part was all there. What color is the uh, like the barrel? What color is that? You mean the barrel? In yeah, black, right? Okay, oh, I'm asking you. And then the, the stock, what color was that? Brown, light brown, dark brown. I don't know. It looked like it was a wood color.
we went to the house, and his cousin, or I mean, not his cousin, his boyfriend drove us to the academy. Okay. We bought the bullets. And we went back to the ditch. Picked it up. Took Jennifer on our way to the house. That should happen. We or like we walked. We walked around from that ditch. We walked around through the through that ditch up to her house. Right. So we put dropped it off. Like because we didn't want to carry it around. Um. Oh, you dropped it off where? In the woods. The the woods over by Capano. And then we went to go get Jennifer, and I talked to her for a little bit. We had ice cream. Richard and I um, told her about the car and everything that we could go get it from her father. She just received it and stuff. And we walked out there where all that shit happened. Took off. But she went straight back to his house. I don't know, because I got keep, I'm having a hard time keep, keeping up with you. Walked over to Jennifer's. Okay, say it again. You walked over to Jennifer's house and you did what? Oh, we sat down and um, ice cream truck or uh, we had ice cream. And then, and then we, I told her about the car and stuff, and we just got got ready and we left. So you told her about a car she could buy from Richard's, Richard's father. Dad. Yeah, and Richard's father's met her and stuff and talked to her about it. her house you walked into the woods mm-hmm. now that street over there where the fence is the wood that you can walk through the wooden fence uh, yeah yeah corn ferry I don't know I think so I'm pretty sure <laughs> Well, I'm going to put it in here, but I'll put it in parentheses because I'm the one that told you what the name of it is. Okay, in the woods. How long were you in the woods? Uh... Say again? We were 20, 30 minutes because we were goofing off for a little while. Okay. When did, when did you retrieve the gun from wherever you'd put it? Immediately or? Not immediately. Uh, yeah, like we had, we were leisurely making our way over there, you know? You still need those? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need these ones. And the gun, and the shotgun at that time was in, in, in what? I don't remember. He was. I don't know if it was in the bag or on it or to the side of it. I don't know. He had grabbed and picked it up though. And that in inside of it, what is it? Describe it. Uh, okay, so he put slung it over his shoulder, looked at me, handed it to me. Wait, wait, wait. wait. 
No, when you when you're saying it, what is it? Was it in it or on it? I don't know. I didn't see it. You're talking about the bag when you say it. Yeah. The okay. Bag. <laughs> what color is the bag? Green, a light green. It's his too, by the way. And it's me. Picked up the bag with the bullets in it. Took the gun back and handed me the bag. Because he handed you the shotgun. Yeah. Come on. Pick up the bag. Handed you the bullets, you said? No, no. Like, yeah, yeah. There's bullets were in the bag. Like, in a, in a double wrapped in a bag mm -hmm. when he bought them. And he put them in the bag and stayed in there. And he handed me the bag and I slung it over my shoulder. All right, and he carried it like he was, to, he was supposed to put it under his belt or something so nobody would see it as we walked his house. Oh, he put the shotgun in his belt? No, he didn't. He didn't. He oh. held on to it. He was supposed to, I think. I oh, know. so he didn't hand you the shotgun? I wasn't thinking he, had, he was messed up enough to walk on the street with it in his hand. So he did not hand the sh shotgun to you at that time when you first went picked it up? No, he did. Okay, he did. And then he did just to pick up the bag. Oh, okay. Then you gave, then you handed the shotgun back to him. Yeah, and he handed me the bag. Then what? No, uh, we played around for a while, acted like we were like uh, Elmer Fudd and shit. Um, Jennifer was walking around being Jennifer. And What does being Jennifer mean? I just like walking around with her arms to the side, you know, like she's on a tightrope or something. Not paying any attention to us. This was all, I'm pretty, I'm, I have to set the time pretty close, like 4.30 or something, and then this all happened, I don't know. I don't know because, well, I don't know. Because you say you saw her around four when you were walking on Cortina. Yeah. But they didn't take long at the bank because they were in their truck. I had the timing all messed up. Okay. I don't really keep good track of time. All right. Um. Oh. Where are we at? Um, you guys are playing around, acting like Elmer Fudd. Jennifer was walking around being Jennifer, walking like she's on a tightrope, yeah. not paying any attention to you guys. Uh, then uh, we start playing around. Or we're right. I don't know if you even write down the drug or the course. He playing around, jumping around on rocks and stuff. And he starts pointing at us, they're trying to shoot trees and stuff. And I start getting pissed off, and we start laughing. And uh, we hold it like I showed y'all. I really don't know if more than one shot was fired off. Like, because I didn't even hear it. I didn't hear anything. Okay, so he's pointing around like he's going to shoot trees. Uh, this way and that way. And you, and that, you took it from him? Uh, you know, I think it was shot. I mean, like... I'm not even sure where our hands are at. Wait a minute. He's pointing around. He's going to shoot trees and what? You say you grabbed it. You say you grabbed it and you took it from him or? No, no. I just put my hands on it. Like, I put my hands around his hand. And uh, we were moving and still laughing and giggling.
Then what? Uh, no, he freaked out. He all heard you have bad quarter of an hour. Hang on, I can't understand you. Um, Hang on, this is the last thing I have on here. We were moving it and still laughing and giggling. What happened after that? Oh, when the, he saw her drop, well, he panicked. So the gun went off? Yeah, the gun went off. I'm not even sure if there was more than one shot, dude. Really, I don't know. Jennifer was about how many feet away? I'd have to say like 30. 30, yeah, I don't know. No, yeah, 30 feet away, 30, 20 feet away, maybe. Is she had her back toward y'all? Uh, pretty sure. I was being with you. Go back. You said Jennifer dropped. No, I, I go to the gun. I ran and dropped it somewhere. Wait a minute. So Jennifer dropped him what? Uh, he let go of the gun. Oh, he let go of the gun? Took off. Or no, like he, wait, he, like, he started moving and I ran after him. Like not after him to like hit him or anything, but after him to like get away with him, you know? And um, he split off the rocks. There's like little rocks back there where it comes out to an opening. You know what I'm talking about? No. A little bit. And uh, he took off through that opening out that way. And when I, I took off the other way through like a little light where there's cactus and stuff, and I chunked the, all the stuff at one point. I don't know when, I don't know where. Almost. I was panicked. So Richard went off to the right. Uh, if you're looking this way, yeah, that's the right. So you threw the bag in the shotgun? I don't know where. I just, but you I just threw him. I threw him. I'm pretty sure. Was it was the shotgun in the bag when you threw it, or? No, it wasn't. They were just together. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You just throw them down, or did you look for something specific and throw them at anything specific, or? No, just whatever was next to me on the path. Maybe it hit a tree, maybe a bush, maybe just the ground. I don't remember. I didn't look. You throw it to your right or to your left, or. Your left? While you're running?
you know the rest of the story? Mm-hmm. I ran out. I saw a kid in white across the way. He stopped and stared for a couple of seconds. It's across the way. Off. Across the ditch, like, all right, you say, here's the fifth gate, right? You go down a big old hill and up the hill. Way on the other side, there's another little, there's a little end of the road sign. You know, when you come to the end of a, a paved road, there's like a little bar, a silver bar that goes across of it. Yeah. He was at that, and he stood there for a second and took off, looked like a little kid. But anyway, I ran down the street. I ran into the, the corn ferry. And what did you say about the kid? He was wearing what? He was wearing a white shirt. Okay, so you saw a kid on the other side of the ditch. And then what? He took off and I took off. I didn't really run. I walked. I like, once I got into the street, I walked. And uh, I called. Uh, I called uh, Richard for a while. He didn't pick up. So I called uh, Cynthia Cooper. Didn't tell her anything. I just stood there. We drive with me to, to a hotel to spend the night. I had to get some things for some friends, or for Richard, whatever. And it dawned on me. Where she pick you up at? At uh, her, um, near my house, or near, in between my and her house, basically. Like, over there on, uh, I forget the address too, so it's like I. And she took you to the Domini South Hotel? Yeah, and then I just let her drive her, uh, drive her, drive her home. I just need somebody to talk to for a whole second. You let who drive her home? A taxi driver. Oh, she picked you up in a, in a cab? Yeah. So she didn't go up? Mm-hmm. You just, did you do the room in your name? Oh, but we stopped at a, oh, on the way, we stopped at Walgreens. That's it, man. That's the end of the story. Okay, she left in the cab. Oh, yeah. Well, she did. Um, I kept calling you to try to call Richard. He said he ran, he ran straight home when I called him. What room did you go to? The room? Yeah. I don't remember. When you reached him, he said he ran straight home. What else? Uh, something about something. I, it was off and on because I was really tired now. And it was something about heroin, something about coming to the hotel. And then I, besides that, then we hung up. And then I never, I didn't, I slept. I probably threw up and slept. And then my mom picked me up in the morning. I don't even remember checking out. I just remember picking up. Did he say anything else about what happened? No. Do you remember talking to the officer on the phone? No. You slept until about 6 p.m., and then what'd you do? Got up and thought I was going to go pee my pants. Why'd you think that? Because I didn't think really, nothing really happened. When did you realize? When did you know that? Uh, you know what? I forgot something. I had actually went back to see if what happened happened. 
that didn't really go, you know, like, on the way back, on the taxi, I asked him to stop there, and I just stood there for a whole second before I came back, and I just stood there, I, you know, and called her name for a whole second. I don't know if people saw on me. On the way back where? To her, to the hotel, on the way to the hotel, I'm sorry. So you had a, cop, a cab stop near the woods and you walked out there? Uh, it was near the, the the Capano Street. And I just walked over to like the hills, like not even not near it, but like over there. And I called her name and just freaked out and I came back. I've been calling her again for a while. Did you tell Cynthia what happened? No. Nothing? I told her that I... I told her that I... When I finally figured out that she couldn't get a hold of me, I said I told her to kill herself at the time. When was that you told her that? That was Monday. That was like the next day, like the next evening or something? I guess. That's why I stopped trying to call her. When did you realize... I mean, you say you say that the next day you went out looking for her, like you were thinking nothing really happened. Or that I uh, thinking I wouldn't find her there, that she had walked home or something, you know. So what happened? What'd you do? I didn't see her or anything. I stopped the way it was dark on the way to the hotel and like I didn't go anywhere near it. It was just spooking me out. You know? I don't know. You know. I don't I didn't even go over there. No, 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 I'm not talking about that time. I'm talking about the next day. Oh, I never went over there again. What'd you do? you see all the police and stuff out there? No. You didn't? I saw, on the way to my mom's house, I saw, when I talked to the other detective, I saw cars, back, police cars, back and forth to the, down that, around that whole square. When was this? Today. This morning. Oh, this morning. That's the first time you saw the police out there? Yeah. But you knew she was dead. I was pretty sure. I mean, I had an idea. I was hoping that the ambulance would pick up and take him to the hospital or something. I mean, she's not dead, right? I mean, you are just like... No, she is. There's no way that she can be helped at all.
to get this open and look at it. I'll bring it back. Read this. See if it's right. Actually, I'm not. This right now, I'm gonna add when you saw her on Cortina Drive. What when you saw her on Cortina Drive? Yeah, she was with Danielle. Danielle, what's Danielle's last name? That's right. So, okay. Yeah, okay. In Danielle's truck, right? Mm hmm. Oh, you might want to fix the, I told Jennifer about the car, about a car we could buy, because I told her about the car a couple days before, and we planned it for that night. She actually stopped buying us some earlier. She, he can tell you, his father can tell you that. About this, I told Jennifer about a car she could buy from her father a few days before, so we went to go see it. Yeah. Okay. From Richard's father, let him know. Yeah, and this is what it says now. From there, we walked over to Jennifer's house and we sat down and had ice cream. I told Jennifer about a car she could buy from Richard's father a few days before, so we left her house to go see it. Right? Yeah. Stash the shotgun, that's horrible. Man. I can change it to left if you want. Where we left the shotgun? You said it. You could write, I did not look at Jennifer. Okay, wait a minute. That's it. She was about 20 or 30 feet away. I'm gonna put Jennifer was maybe. Okay, you see, I could put what? I did not what? I did no, not look? I did not look. At, I did not look. I did not see Jennifer. That's it. Just like delete everything else off that sentence. Well, you saw her drop, so. I did not look to see if Jennifer was okay or not. I knew she probably wasn't okay. That's why I took off. Okay, I did not look at Jennifer? I mean, because if I had seen her, like, move or try to get up, I probably would have went over to her. I did not look at Jennifer, is that what you said? Yeah, I mean, I saw her. I just, once she dropped it, I ran away. I knew she probably was not okay. Damn, no, I just finally leave it like, leave it like it is. I already changed it. That's okay. It says I did not look at Jennifer. Richard went one way. Okay, go ahead. Off to my right.
Richard said something about it coming over and heroin and stuff. I don't know if you wrote that or not. I just don't remember bits and pieces of those half asleep. Well, I was going to put that in there, but it, doesn't, it didn't really relate to this, so it kind of related to maybe a party at your room or something. Right? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, said, I was going to put that, but it didn't really relate to this, so that's why I didn't put it. About the heroin? Oh, well, neither... Neither does the fact that I, I slept in the room and threw up. And my mom picked me up the next morning. Well, it does because it tells me where you were. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's just a stress. Yeah. They're going to witness your your signature. Can you read out read out loud for them so that they know that you know how to read and write? As is right, the, that part. Huh? Which part? Um, these right here. Do I need the initial when I'm done? Yes. Uh, I have the right to remain silent, not to make any statement at all, and that any statement I do make may be used as evidence against me in trial. Mm -hmm. Any statement I may. I make may be used as evidence against me in court. I have the right to have a lawyer present to advise me prior to any, during, any, or and during any questioning. If I'm unable to employ a lawyer, I have the right to have a lawyer appointed to me to advise me prior to and during any questioning. I have the right to terminate the interview at any time. Now you can read this out loud or you can read it and then sign it. Did you just change around what I said or this? Yeah, but it, it, you need to probably read over it to make sure that that's what I did. I forgot to write that. I don't know if you wouldn't even mind, but we left it there at the ditch and came back for it when we, uh, when we walked over there. And he left it over there and then uh, we came back and got just write it there. We left the shotgun at the ditch. That's it. Thank you. That's my notary record, I just notarized this. I'm not worried about it. Um, she'll sign right there on that white line right there. Is this? The notary record. You know when you notarize something? That I've been here or what? No, it's basically what it is. You're just signing your signature right here that I put an official state seal on here. That's all right. That's supposed to be the next line down, but that's all right. Oh, shoot, really? Yeah. <laughs> I signed it where there was a line. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Um, 
I also want to ask you for your consent to look at the numbers and the calls that you made at your cell phone. And your permission, I'm asking you for your permission that I can look through your phone and see what you Right now? Yeah. Well, there's personal like videos on there, like sexual related. Okay. Do I need to give it to you? Will it help me out? Well, it's, it won't help you out necessarily, but I'm not, in, I'm not necessarily interested in any videos or whatever. I want to look at the calls and the text messages that you've made. I'm a police officer. I'm not going to be embarrassed by anything. Well, I'm going to have to say no for now because, I mean, there's really nothing that will help you out with the case. Okay. It's really just personal stuff. I don't know if you can find out all the talks that I had on phones. I'm sure somebody's going to do it anyway. Not y'all. Thing. Take a picture and put with the staple. Just a facial. Should flash twice. everything pretty much i'll be back in just a minute let this do what i'm gonna unplug it You ready? This officer's going to transport you to the jail. He told me I could have another cigarette. He's going to let you do that too. Awesome. <laughs> so. Uh, you know they'll let me make a phone call when I get there. Uh, when they get around while. to. When they get around to it, yeah. Mm. Come over here and then just put your hands behind your back. Okay. Purple. You're not messing with the hands behind your back. We'll just stick it in there. Yeah. Property in there, man. So, wallet, no. Okay. I have nothing. 